Um, we have a new craft um, that I'm going to be doing today and well it's not a new craft it's basically it's taking my diamond painting and doing it um, something that you know these are great and they go in your wall sometimes other times we you know roll them up put them away and don't frame them or whatever or we give them away but I want to show them off because they are so beautiful I mean this is the um, second diamond painting I ever did and look at that sparkle so obviously this is by diamond art club um i got this kit with three other uh, diamond paintings and that was in the summer of a year like a year and a half ago summer so this is an older one i finished it and it's been hanging in my closet ever since i haven't had it framed i haven't done anything but i really really like this one i know it's super common um, but I just I love it. I love the colors in it. It's just it turns out so good even though it's little there's detail and it just I just love it. So I thought um, I'm going to do something with it that I can show it off. So first off um, you want to make sure for if you're going to do this project you seal your painting. Um, I already did that before like before I hung it in the closet. Um, if you need help with how to seal a painting, I will try really hard to remember to put that video link in the description um, so that you could go and watch that video because I do have a couple videos about how to seal your diamond paintings. Um, so first thing, so what we're doing is we're going to basically, we're going to take this diamond painting and we're, instead of putting it in a frame, we're actually going to put it right onto a bag. That way, I have this little tote bag, I can carry it around, and my time in painting is on it, and it's beautiful, and I can show it off. So, um, first thing you're going to want to do is cut off the excess, um, yeah, the excess, the, the edging of it. You don't want that. You just want your diamond painting. So, we're going to go ahead and cut that off. did go back and make sure that there's no edging showing um, because this is one that will show now I'm using a um, it's like a cream a really light cream color tote bag that I got at Hobby Lobby for a dollar twenty nine so super cheap this is kind of a trial um, because I've never done this before so this is a trial that that's why I thought I would get this you know cheap little tote bag I have a couple nicer ones that I got for afterwards um, to do some, you know, either bigger diamond paintings or um, a little nicer of a tote just because I wanted to kind of test it out and, you know, just dip my foot in a little bit and see how um, the water is. So, um, basically, what we're doing is doing that. So then your bag has this, you know, your diamond painting is going to be all sparkly and pretty and you're going to go out in public and everybody's going to be like, ooh, where'd you get the bag? Where'd you get the bag? You just watch. Um, but I don't have a sewing machine. So we're not going to use a sewing machine. We're just going to use this. Um, it's called Liquid Stitch. It is the original formula. It's a permanent fabric um, adhesive. So there's that. Um, I also got this at Hobby Lobby for $5.99. So if this is the only thing you're getting, though, you can use your 40% off coupon um so that you know you can get it a little more inexpensive but I had a bunch of other stuff I was getting too so you know great thing about Hobby Lobby is they do take off the, they take with the coupon they always take like your most expensive item so anyways but that doesn't matter that doesn't matter so what we're gonna do is we're gonna measure um and just make sure that there's you know it's equal on both sides um I'm going to, you know, kind of eyeball it at first and then I'll measure it a little bit, make sure it's even um, because otherwise that will, it's, this is on, like this says it's permanent. So once it's glued, it's glued. I can't fix it and change it. So I just want to make sure it is in the place I absolutely want it to stay. 
Okay, so I just kind of eyeballed it, um, but I'm gonna take my measuring tape. I'm just gonna make sure on both sides that it's equal. It doesn't so much matter on the top and the bottom because I'd rather it be um, maybe a little bit more towards the bottom than the top, but in this case, like that is just, you can eyeball that, but I do wanna make sure that it's not gonna be sitting, you know, crooked. So um, we are gonna go, okay, so there's eight centimeters on that side. Yeah. And there's um, eight centimeters on that side. So it is actually perfect. So I think what we'll do, we're just gonna go along kind of under the edging here and put the glue down. And then um, we will go from there and see how this turns out. I'm super excited. Um, anytime I can like incorporate diamond paintings into my everyday life type stuff, like my eyeglasses case and I have a mirror um, and I have a little like pencil box and all that that has diamond paintings on it. I love doing this. So this is awesome. Um, just another thing that I can, you know, have diamond painting in my life. I can carry this bag around and um, I can even carry like crafts if I'm going somewhere or um, whatever. It doesn't matter doesn't matter but remember this is a trial and error so let's just we're gonna have to see if it turns out or not but let's go ahead and glue this puppy down and um we'll see how it works over on the side and I don't know if this stuff like if it dries clear or not because it doesn't say so I just got um, a q-tip here and I'm just kind of going along the edge where the glue kind of came out a little bit over here and just kind of cleaning that glue up while it's still wet because once it's dry you ain't gonna be able to get it off um, and I don't want it to show like a big white you know big white mark right there so, sorry if you hear some noise in the background. Um, we got our dog a new toy today, and he is deciding to play with it literally right in front of my desk. So, um, I do apologize for the crinkle, crinkle. Um, my daughter is also doing some craft over there, so she's kind of crinkling along with him. Um, so, there you go. So, now all we have to do is wait. And hopefully this glue will set and um, be, you know stick on there really really nicely, and we have ourselves a diamond painting tote. So yeah, um, we'll come back in tomorrow. Um, so it's gonna be you know 12 hours. I'm gonna let it sit, and um, then we'll come back and see how it worked. So I'll see you soon. Okay, so it has been. <clears throat> um, I'm gonna say 12 hours or so. I did it last night and it is now the morning. Um, and it, that glue, guys, this is the first time I've ever used this glue, so I really didn't know what to expect. Um, I've used one other fabric glue and it didn't work very well. So I really didn't know what to expect, but this stuff is good. It works really, really good. Like, I mean, I was like tugging and there ain't no way. The, it ain't coming off. Um, so I do need to do the corners because I didn't get the glue. If you can see, I didn't get the glue like all the way to the edge on the on, on the two top corners. I did on the bottom corners. Um, I think it was just because the top corners, maybe because they were a little farther away from me. I, I don't know. I don't know. But whatever. I just need to put like, you know, a drop of glue on both corners. Um, and as soon as that dries, I'm ready to use my bag. So yeah, I'm super excited that it works so well. It was so easy. Um, so, so, so simple. One, two, three. I mean, literally do your project, glue it down, wait for it to be glued, and that's it. So, well, you gotta cut it out, obviously. Um, so the next one I will be doing <clears throat> probably next week. I got this nicer bag and it's bigger. Excuse me. Um, so this one is quite a bit bigger. <clears throat> As you can see, it's the same length, but there's a lot more width to it. 
to it. Um, and so, yeah, it'll be, I, I'm not sure which diamond painting. I'm thinking of the one that um, Diamond Art Club has that's on sale right now. It's like the rocks in the background and then that blue butterfly because, yeah, y'all know, like, I love butterflies. And I thought that one would be perfect because it's small and it would just go. And I think it would really, really show up nicely on the, the black background. Um, yeah, and I think it'll fit perfect on it as well. So I think, I think that's the one I'm going to use, but I haven't done that diamond painting yet. So obviously I have to get that diamond painting done before I can do this project. Um, this bag, this black one that I got, I also got at Hobby Lobby. Um, it is definitely bigger. The straps are longer, so you could put this like over your shoulder if you wanted to. Um, and then on this side, there are pockets. But I think, I, I don't know yet. I'm going to have to like play with it a little bit and see. But I think that what I'll do is have like these pockets will be on the like the back of the of the bag. So like this would be closest to my body and then this side would be the outside. So that way um, the diamond painting is on the flat surface without the pockets. But I don't know. I don't know if I can fit it all, you know, right here to where it'll look good or not. I'll have to kind of play around with it and see just a little bit. Um, Eli can't. <laughs> Eli's under my desk playing with stuff, making all sorts of noise. Um, anyway, so I did get this one and this bag was only $3.29. So super inexpensive. And it actually is a really thick, it's a thick material um it's a stiff thick material so it's not flimsy like the other one was you know pretty thin material pretty chintzy little thing but it was perfect for like you know testing out what I was gonna do this one is a lot more thick um, a lot more sturdy it does have those pockets if you wanted to use them uh, I'm not sure now there are no pockets on the inside, but that's okay Like but I was thinking this would make like a perfect little beach bag or something. I don't know. It would just be really It'd be really cool. I love it. Um, I keep forgetting my camera is not sideways anymore uh, or backwards anymore <laughs> Anyways, so the other bag that I also got was this one um, this color I love this color. This was the other one. I was thinking like that. I might possibly put the um butterfly on because the butterfly is blue and or it's like a teal blue it's like my favorite colors um sorry there's some threads here i'm trying to get off because they're bugging me anyways <clears throat> i was thinking about maybe putting the butterfly on this one so i'm gonna have to see what size it is and then kind of go from there this bag was a dollar 99 and even though it is a little bit smaller than this one it is significantly thicker and better material and the straps if you can see I will show you here bring these down you can see the straps on the blue bag are about twice as long as the one on the creamy bag so this one you could actually like throw over your shoulder where this one is more just like a handheld one so um that's kind of the differences but yeah this one was i believe a dollar 29 actually this one might have been the 99 cent one now that i'm thinking about it i don't know it was a dollar 99 a dollar 29 or 99 cents this one is a dollar 99 and this one was three dollars and 29 cents super super good prices for tote bags like really good prices um if you buy tote bags you know that's a good price and if you're not getting anything else you use a coupon and make it even cheaper i mean yeah there anyways so this is kind of my first attempt at putting a diamond painting on a fabric um i do have some other ideas of where i might want to do some put some diamond paintings but one thing i will advise you guys if you do do this is that um, I suggest using a diamond art club or another diamond company, a diamond painting company that uses more of a fabricy material. Because if you use um, a material that is not as fabricy, like if it's like more plasticky or something, it, it's going to be a lot thicker, um, not as forgiving or easy to move around. Um, and I, I just think that a a fabric is going to be a lot easier than like a plastic canvas to put on to a piece of material. 
That's just my opinion though. I don't know everything. I haven't tried it with, you know, one of the cheaper canvases. Um, I thought, nah, I think that I'll go with the Diamond Art Club because the fabric is going to be the best. So, um, that's my opinion. Everybody has, you know, their own opinions and their own thoughts and ideas and suggestions and all that stuff. So, if you liked this idea, don't forget to give it a thumbs up to let me know that you want more of these kind of videos. If you don't like it, that's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Uh, I won't be offended. But as always, don't forget you are braver than you believe, stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think. So with that, keep on shining and I'll see you next time. Bye guys. Thank you for watching and if you haven't already and would like to subscribe, don't forget to hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when I put up a new video.